And I'm just so proud to say, like, that's my church. These are my people. Like, this is what we do. This is who we are. And we're going to show God's love through all this. And it's, I just think it's a huge opportunity to reach so many people. Everyone on the mainland that's supported, whether it's through prayers or financially, um, we feel it here. We feel the support, and it's much needed right now. And your prayers mean more than you know, and, and we just feel like uh, our big family throughout the world, through God, is like really here with us and supporting us, and I can't thank you enough for that. Generosity of this church and the generosity of others, and so uh, we've been able to do that, been able to really be extensions of Jesus and offer people help, offer people um, physical and tangible aid during such a tremendous time of need. Uh, so we're, we're thankful for David and for him sharing his story today. Uh, we want to let you guys know that uh, is we have been a church for 40 years. Kulamani Chapel is what it started with Pastor Ricky Ryan. And uh, seven years ago, we partnered together, Harvest, uh, over on the mainland, and the Lunch Chapel partnered together, and now we are Harvest Maui, and we are so thankful for the work that God has been doing for the last seven years, but for the, uh, and for the last 40, ultimately. But all of you who have been a part of this church are well aware that we have been in that little car barn just up the street right there. You can probably see it if you stand up and look over the bushes, but it's just right there, about a thousand feet uh, to the side of us. And uh, we want to let you know that we are moving. We are moving out of that little car barn into a new car barn uh, where they currently uh, have stored the golf carts and worked on them there. And yes, there's some footage of it. And so uh, we're really excited to be moving over to this new facility. We are aiming towards the third quarter of this year. So just in a few months that we're going to be moving in there. It is incredible. You have to see this place. We're going to be doing tours in the coming months to let you guys see it in person. But it is amazing. There's going to be a full-time space that we can access and use whenever we want for our kids, for our youth ministry, uh, for our Sunday morning services. We're going to have a really good sound system that we don't have to worry about the sort of the golfers anymore. Uh, and so we're really excited. The renderings, of course, look amazing. So full ministry spaces, offices, new sanctuary, new sound, everything. We're really, really excited. So we want to tell you guys, please be praying for us in this new venture. And please be praying for it. Uh, race with the city, with the permitting, of course, with all the materials getting over here, you know how difficult it is uh, to sometimes get materials here and get things built quickly, so we're just asking you guys will be praying for us uh, as we go through this, but now we also want to just extend to you an opportunity uh, to help invest in what is happening here on the island of Maui. We're here for the long haul. Uh, we are all about people. We're all about reaching people, and you might think that this is about a building. This is about a space. It's not about a building. It's about people. That is what this church is. It's about people. It's about stories. And so we uh, want to encourage you to partner with us now, give you this opportunity to invest in what the Lord is doing right here in West Maui, a part of the world that needs to so desperately. People need hope now more than ever over here. And so we're thankful to be proclaiming that today, in the Sundays to come, and of course tonight, our Hope for Behind event. So I'm going to invite the ushers to come forward as we receive our morning time. 